So very exciting. We, uh, we're gonna go pick up, I haven't gotten one in a while. I don't think we've done it. I don't think I've done any cosplay stuff since since Emerald City, which was in the beginning of the year. Um, but we're gonna go pick up a new cosplay, and the light won't focus. I look like I look like a super Irish child, and then I look like a vampire like in the shed. You know, super, like super. Mega. Like, like. Mega enhanced. I look, I look just like a marshmallow on the Ultra beach. Ultra HD just, Irish child. Whew, that's me. Ultra, oh God. Into a little snafu where we needed the package to get shipped from like one area to another. So yeah, uh, they're delivering it to the other place now, which is exciting. So we get to kill hours and hours and hours of time before we get to do that. But, yeah, so I bought all my other supplies for upgrades. Ooh. It only took almost five hours, and I did it. We did a, a tag team. We swapped out girlfriend for roommate, but I finally got my baby, who weighs like 80 pounds. There's boots in here, and a whole long coat, and pants, and a belt, and shoes, and a jacket, and a scarf, and it's the whole shebang, so I'm ready. Finally home. Made it back to my children. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes, we're finally home. Uh, so I was just trying to take a sneak peek at stuff in the bag, um, but it all smells like factory because uh, it came from China. So it all smells like fake, like fake ass material in just all crammed in a bag for a week. So I basically have to take everything out and I have to go air everything out. And uh, once I finish airing everything out, then I can start cutting and gluing and painting and all the fun, exciting stuff that I've been looking forward to doing. Trying on parts of the costume. Um, really nice to find out the stuff that I thought I was going to have to do, I actually don't have to do on the costume. There are a few things going against that that I will have to do to make the costume look better. A couple of things on the gloves, those need to be uh, painted underneath that's just white there, and those should be red, and I probably could brighten the red on it, and you know, the shirt needs a steam, pants are all right, everything looks good in general, which is really nice, because this means this is not gonna take me a long time to do. I probably could get most of this done tonight, which is awesome, and then get that guy in there. Process of, um, I'm heating up the jacket and doing, uh, basically getting all the creases and stuff out of it from from shipping. I'm doing it with the heat gun on low. I don't really suggest doing that because it might not be the safest thing, but um, it's definitely helping me to conform it to the shape of my body in the way that I want it to. So the nice thing about this costume is he does wear this costume without um, without this jacket for a while. So if this jacket gets too hot for whatever reason, if I'm costuming, I can take it off and boom, still looks in character. Hey, so we've moved down here. Quality has changed because I've changed the uh, whoop, 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 changed the camera. Um, so I basically got all my stuff laid out in front of me. I've got all my tools. I've got I've got my paint that I've bought, um, and I've started to do a little bit of work. Yeah, the belt. Um, I'm gonna end up taking the belt. I just hit it with the heat gun because it had a little bit of a little bit of a bend from shipping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape off these pieces, which uh, I can't remember if I mentioned, but they're okay. They, you know, I'm, I'm redoing the buckle. I broke the front parts of the buckle off because they're the right design, but they're too small. So I'm going to make them bigger. I'm going to make them out of craft foam. Um, and then, you know, tidy everything up and, and hit it. This chrome spray paint that I'll end up hitting it with, and then I'll use that with... Um, I use a little bit of black paint and get in there and kind of darken things up, give it a little bit of grime. Uh, it's basically what I'm going to be doing for a lot of this is just going in and just getting kind of dirtier details or using the paint. This is an acrylic paint, and I'm going to use it just to dry brush it over this. Um, but this has a bunch of stitching on it already, and, you know, the belt itself in the movie has a bunch of bigger hand-stitching parts, but I'm just going to be 
brushing it with this. So I've gone in and I've taped up um, some stuff, but something I wanted to suggest when you're painting a pre-made prop or you have something that has Velcro on it to tape up your Velcro, because if you get paint in your Velcro by accident, um, it could potentially ruin it. So excited. So excited. Well, I have um, some uh, foam mat here. Um, I'm going to use this for filling out the shin guard space, but what I did was I basically just laid, now that I've painted this down, this is just drying, um, it's a different color now and there's shades and stuff to it, so it looks much better. Um, but I went in and I just traced around the basic shape, the way that this is supposed to look in the actual like movie is there's a little bit of belt that hangs off of the sides, so what I did was I went and I traced it and then I've cut the shape here, so I just have to kind of goof around with it, maybe uh, cut it again and just resize it a little bit, but it's looking pretty good, so you can tell that it, uh, it actually fits over top there. So, yeah. So, ah. so um, <clears throat> what I'm doing right now is I'm just taking the shoes while the other stuff dries, and I'm just putting some, uh, some brown on them and just dunking it in and then kind of dusting it and giving it a light do 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 basically to emulate some uh some dirt that's been ground in as time has gone on so they're looking much better and much much uh more uh spacey they've been around traveling well my knees now have um put some paint on them to basically give it the uh the look as if the knee has been dirtied from exploring wearing the pants while I do it so it gives it a much uh, more natural look to it and it's not just like oh you just laid the pants down and did it. it it gives it that feel of I was really wearing this while these were being dirtied so now we've run into the tricky part of upgrading this costume because it comes with these boots and these boots are they're just bad. They're just bad. That's what it is. They're just bad. Um, this is a valuable piece, though. I could probably stitch rip that and remove it, take it off of here, put it onto a piece of foam, um, and then use the foam because I went and I bought elastic. I bought two things of elastic. They were each on sale. They were 99 cents. And I bought this elastic that has kind of this boxy pattern because I thought if this is going to go on the shoe um, and basically wrap under the foot that, you know, we could maybe, we could maybe use that and, um, and have it look kind of space agey and, and, and everything would flow, it would have a nice, uh, cohesive look to it, but yeah, I can't use these things, they're terrible, um, and I've been doing all the work to the shoes that I already bought, so it's not like I could turn around. This is a, the thing about this costume is, you know, I've done upgrades before, but I've never upgraded boots before, so. This is all, this is all very new and scary, so... So what we're doing now is, now that I've cut those, I cut a piece of foam and marked it with which side, uh, for which foot it's supposed to go on, and then I will take these. Uh, this is contact cement, super helpful to have. Uh, I have to let this dry. Um, and you're trying to put an even layer on there, so you let that dry for sometimes 5, sometimes 15 minutes. And then you take the two pieces and you put them together. And then we'll um, we'll try this on a boot. Like, we'll put the shoe on, and then we'll put this on, and we'll use some of the elastic. And we'll hot glue this on to place, so I have to plug my hot glue gun in. Uh, I forgot to mention this, I bought acrylic paints. Uh, don't be a dumb dumb like me, and accidentally step on your bottle of freshly bought puffy paint that you're going to use to darken the jacket with um like a big dang doofus who would ever do that surely not me it's 1 30 in the morning I'm losing my mind one shin guard drafted and i made sure that i wrote that this was the front and it's the right side always label your pieces it's really helpful um, once I take this and basically cut it up into pieces, I'm probably actually going to turn this into the left side. So, really simple. 
if it's facing this way and this is the right front, this would be the left front. Right front, left front, right front, left front. Simple. It's 2.30. I'm probably going to save the jacket for tomorrow, but I'm almost done everything else. So once I finish painting this stuff up, I will be set to go to bed because it is bed time. So here you can see us uh, darkening. We're going to go in and darken all the all the inner lines like this, and then I think if anything else needs to be darkened, I'll, I'll add to it. But all I'm doing is just taking a little bit of the puff paint. Um, yeah, like I said, I stepped on it like an idiot. Um, but luckily, it all still works. I'm just going in and doing a little line inside of each one of these, and just coming along with a paper towel, and wiping it away, and wiping it along as I go, so it kind of spreads the paint out and gets rid of it as I go. Once this is done, I'm going to do the boots and maybe the belt with this stuff. Um, and then after that, I just need to iron the shirt and iron the scarf. Uh, and then we're done. Yeah, we're done. Thanks. So I finished everything, um, but I'm not showing it off because we have one more thing we need to do. And then I'll show you guys everything. But we gotta get rid of something first. So uh, we'll be back in a second. So there we go. Now we're nice and properly shaven. Um, typically when I do the costume, my hair it has a little bit too much blonde in it, so I just darken it a little bit, plus the lighting's kind of garbage in here. P.S. My friend Bryden took this sweet-ass picture, so go follow him on Facebook. But yeah, it, uh, boom, turned out pretty good. So I'm happy for this being like a day's worth of work that I put into it. Working from basically yeah, 8 o'clock or so, 8.30 till 4 in the morning yesterday, and then working today for a couple hours. Uh, it looks great, and I totally now have a new awesome Star Lord costume. And this actually, I know this happens typically when I buy like another one. I'm like, oh, this one's my favorite. Like, this one actually might be my favorite. It's nice to have pants that look really good and a good belt and... This, it's, this is the lightest one, um, so I'm not going to end up dying wearing this, which will be good. What do you think, roommate? I think you look pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, see you around. So, thanks for checking everything out again. Um, no, I'm just talking to myself. Now I miss you. Now I want.